You're probably thinking, how the hell is this guy in Italy during a world pandemic? Let's rewind. Now it all started about a month ago when I drunkenly FaceTimed my buddy Fabio who lives in Capri. Or sorry, Capri. Fabio told me, Come to Capri. Take a holiday. We are ready. Capri is open. Everybody asking me, where is Zach? But this summer is that coming? I don't know. Surprise for everybody coming. Okay, but Fab... when are you coming Capri? <laughs> so... I booked a flight. Perfecto. I pulled four of my buddies, and they were all in. And then, just like last year, they all canceled. So, I called the only guy I knew I could rely on. My brother. Oh, and before I continue the story, I just want to let you know that I did consult a doctor, and they told me because I did have coronavirus previously in March, I had the antibodies, and I was immune. So, if you're going to comment, how are you traveling during a world pandemic? That's my excuse. So, shut up. Let's go. So we landed in Rome, and Rome was a complete ghost town. We saw everything we wanted to see in about two hours. So we decided to not stay the extra night and get the hell out of there. We headed straight to Capri. Our first stop, Salu Maria Dallo. The best Caprese Panino in the entire fucking world. Beat everyone to the punch. Large. Caprese in Capri. How is it? This guy hasn't said a word. After inhaling our panino, we had to go check into our hotel. La Minerva, my number one and the number one boutique hotel on the island. Ciao, bello, ciao. Mm -hmm. How are you? Exactly. Good. We're doing breakfast. Where is the breakfast? On the top. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> this is Antonino, my good friend and the owner of La Minerva. If you see him around the island, tell him I love him. <laughs> oh, wow. How do you been up here? Enjoy. Look at this. This is large, eh? Now, this hotel is my favorite for a number of reasons. The view, the service, and of course, the food. After checking in, we had to go, of course, meet up with the man that brought me back to Capri. <laughs> this is my buddy Fabio, possibly the nicest guy in the world, the biggest animal lover, and the only vegan Italian I've ever met. So we're back one year later. There you go, there's your workout. The After same guy year, from last year. The friend is here. <laughs> Come on, stai, piccolino. <laughs> hmm? I'll show you wings. Wow. He's wow. a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cockfight. After I helped Fabio feed his chickens, he told me he wanted to take me to Pizzo Longo, which I thought he said pizza. My fat ass was like, all right, yeah, let's go for pizza. So it ended up being a two hour hike across the island and there was no pizza to be found. But it was a really beautiful way to see new parts of Capri that I've never seen before. Oh my God, man. Wow. It's like Farajone, it's famous. <laughs> Just eat something red. So pezzette le noci. Fabio is like the animal whisper of the island. Sugo Sunday. No, no, Sugo Birds. <laughs> he has about a hundred pets, and every time I see him, the there's hell? a new one added to the group. Reminds me of a girl I used to know. After the two-hour hike, we had to go meet up with my brother for lunch, who I made promise there would be pizza there. So today, we're going to La Fontalina, which is like a beach club restaurant. Yeah, I've actually never been there. Been here four times, never been there once. It's always booked, you gotta make a rezo. But Antonino, owner of La Minerva, my boy, hooked us up. You look like the girls that model in here with the white linen. Yeah. 
quite the trek, guys. We gotta go from here to down there. Mama fucking Omiya. Oh, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Take the stairs. Ciao, enjoy. We made it. Where are we walking back to the hotel? <laughs> La Fontalina is the most famous beach club restaurant on the island. They do two lunch sittings a day and you go there and you relax by the water for the whole day and wait for your turn to eat. So I highly suggest you book this in advance. Flexing? I'm not flexing. I'm not flexing at all. Large. Large. Chantani. Who joined us for lunch? Lunch. <laughs> Dan's already trying to escape. Legenda. Presidente di Capri. Ok, io vado alla discoteca, cocaina, puttana... No. <laughs> This is my friend Gian Piero, one of the funniest guys I've ever met and a master of pizza. His father was one of the best bakers and they invented many different types of pizza by the slice and different types of breads and rolls. Last year, Gian Piero was nice enough to invite me into his home to have dinner with his entire family and it was molto speciale. Just the way it is, is great. Maybe it's like half a kilo. Looks like your ball sack. <laughs> this with the bowl. What is Lollo this qua? Bronza for Fabio. One side for size. This is seven size. Oh my god. Try citronella. Oh yeah, yeah. This is new one. You make this one? Yes. It's a big plus mount. Classic. Let's go. 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 let us go you get to see the island, you get some beautiful photos with the car. Put on our best fits today. We're gonna go take some pictures. All right, we'll see you at the car. Your Uber has arrived, sir. Large. Ciao Fabrizio, come stai? Buongiorno, da tutto bene. Benvenuto This is the ride for the day. Yes. Prepare la macchina. Prepare la macchina. Selfish. You can feel like the girls in the car. You can only feel like two bodies in that in that back seat. I want to show you something very cool. Yeah. Are you ready for it? Yes, of course. Okay, you get the air in your face. Ah, luxury. You see? Eco-friendly air conditioning. 
Ciao, la ciao. Ciao, grazie mille. A te. Ciao. All right, part one, the finito. That's all I have, guys, for part one. Tune in next week for part two of my trip to Capri. Ciao, ciao.